Much requested. I've got her back just before we break up for Christmas. Fresh off holiday. Mm -hmm. You I think I've got a tan? I don't think I've got a tan. She has just had to conceal her slightly sunburnt nose. Yeah, well, that was quite stingy. Was it? Yeah, but I think that's also because I've had such a bad cold. Yeah, you be haven't been well. No. And she flew abroad on holiday, sorry. No. Caught a vomiting bug, a little bit of RSV, put her back out, and then Arthur only slept for an hour on a 10 Oh, I know, flight. I know. A little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, he usually sleeps for three hours during the day. <laughs> and he was like that. Hiya. I walked up and down Walking the Walking down the aisle. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I know. And just people getting really annoyed. And you're like, there's no alternative. No. I can't, like, go anywhere. That said, if I turned left on a plane and she rocked up with her kids and Arthur, I wouldn't be amused either. I know. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'd be really mad if I sat next to a kid. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we thought we would do our best beauty moments of 2022. And we're going to do best makeup launch, best skincare launch, best treatment, best hair product. You go first. Let's do best brand because you fell in love with this brand this year. Oh, Tatcha. I do love it. You're I just such do. a sucker for an I am. Tell me about your favourite products. My favourite this, product. This one that you got sent before me. I know. Which is the spray on moisturiser. I used to buy this as well. I know. And I used to just use it like now, two or now three times at a time. She actually gets one. I'm so. not an influencer. You've been influenced. Oh. This is nice. Okay, tell them about this. So this is Joe's favourite. This Dewy Skin is Mist. The Dewy Skin Mist. And it's literally probably the most cult facial mist but it's more than just a water because it's mm. actually if you look at it it's actually quite milky yeah on, it feels go like it's it. got a slight oil in it it just brings your face back alive it just well, gives it, it might be able to bring your face back alive but mine's you might need a bit more <laughs> <laughs> i need to bathe in the stuff also can uh -oh. i just say i love the smell of that her brand of the year with, with was without a doubt tatcha yeah she has the dewy skin mist this is the Look, this is silk canvas primer, except that it's she's just used it all over her face. Yeah, but it fills in all the holes. It's like a polyfiller for the face. She has no holes in her face. Yeah, of course I do. What about this one? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the biggest hole oh, ever. I, I certainly have one that I speak out of that's another part of my body. <laughs> Uh, my brand of the year has literally just, you're launched in the UK, I would say it was Geek and Gorgeous. Ooh. Geek and Gorgeous is an active lead, clearly labelled range, um, sort of between 10 and 25 pounds. And that is their retinal serum. And it's their not, it's the A game and it's 0.1% retinal, clearly labelled. It's around 17 pounds. Wow. You know me, I love a high street hero. There you go. My brand launch of the year. That's Geek amazing. and Gorgeous. I'm the geek, she's the gorgeous. Oh, I doubt it. We're both on our own game, though, aren't we? We're both on our own game. Do you know what? Um, uh, someone recommended that because I really don't like the skin around my knees. It's starting to get really like horrid and oldy. I said to use retinol. Around, yeah, of around course. That area. Of course. I've never done that before. Uh, I've now, never even thought about doing that before. Now, so Paula's Choice does a 0.1 or 2 percent body retinol which you, the reason you can't get an extra strength retinol all over your body is because if you put it on all over, obviously you do absorb more of it, even though it's completely safe. My advice, if you've got a specific area, so for me, it's my upper arms, for you, it's your knees, is just use a retinol that you would use on your face. It works out expensively. Yeah, a high street one. Somebody said to me they were getting married next year. One of my followers said, I'm getting married next year. I'm 63. My hand's really showing the signs of age. I don't know what to do. Shall I use a body lotion? And I went, no, just go and get a really good face retinol. Like mm. the, I think I mentioned the L'Oreal Revitalift one which is 0.2 percent that one's with niacinamide in it's amazing just get that and put that on your hands so gadget to the this is fabulous wave secret air also can i just say was it violet or ivy you showed that on? oh ivy because we can't show it on our hair well, i mean you can try. try and show it on my hair joe's hair is looking so good we'll do a hair update in the new year oh my god i cannot tell you how hair thick her hair is although it is beginning to look like this mushroom because it's so thick and so healthy yeah, but I does look like clicks? a mushroom. Well, no, it, it will click it. So listen, it'll go beep, beep, beep. Yeah. And then you lift it out like that, which uh, which calls it, which sets the curl or the wave. And then you go like that and you get an instant Let's have wave. a look. Oh, wow. It's really good. And it's really fast. Oh, My wow. hair isn't the ideal length because... Do it on a bit of mine. All right. No, you have to do it. 
Ivy's hair, it this, looks incredible. This could incredible. be dangerous, can I just say this? No, it's good. It's got some sort of anti-tangle technique. Bit, you have to do it this way round. Okay, been on holiday anywhere recently? Oh, all right, love. All right, love. Yeah, I'm doing well. How about you? <laughs> How's the salon doing in the cost of living crisis? Is it all right? I thought you were going to say in the Costa del Sol. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly where you're going. Uh, what's it called? Curl up and die, basing stone? Oh, my God. No, what was about Scissors Palace? Scissors Palace. <laughs> one before there you go oh my god it's good isn't it that is so clever and it's so fast basically what you get is a loose wave okay she started now she's not going to start i know but also like you just it's that sort of loose cut it's not it's really... for people who literally can't tongue their hair isn't it yeah look okay we can stop there now. look you look like no we can't i think i need to do one more oh, bit oh no don't do the fringe bit but look at that that looks cool that looks like sam mcknight is going to be shitting himself <laughs> right let's turn it off now before i set the house on fire. really not yeah she's already put a root retouch on the brand new car oh, no. <laughs> that's when you know you love someone. Uh, so that's your gadget of the year i'm going to talk about um concealers r.i.p my all-time favorite concealer I hate when that happens I know, which is the Aborian and it's the BB Crayon. And I absolutely love it. And look, this is what happens. So basically, they've discontinued it. But Charlotte Tilbury launched, I mean, I'm going to oh. do a budget and then I'm going to, Charlotte Tilbury launched a brand new concealer this year. This is the Radiant Concealer. This is one that Joe's got on. It's really lovely, mm. really bright, but demi matte, really flattering. I think she does really good concealers. And if you're on a budget, I still think the Maybelline eraser is really good. If I had te top 10 products of all time, Hollywood filter would definitely be on that. How about in January, we do our top 10 products of all time. What's next? That is such a good one. Sally's. Yay. Congratulations, Sally. Sally launched her skincare range with Revolution this year. These are the minis. And can I just say they're the minis. I haven't just got really massive. I know we say we how have, big my hands are. We are really big human beings. Can I just say this? But we're not... I've dropped it on your carpet. <laughs> You haven't. Oh, no, I haven't. I nearly have. I dropped it on my really expensive jeans. Sorry. Uh, but, yeah, so they're the little miniatures. So there was uh, two moisturisers. Two cleansers. Two cleansers. And she also did accessories. Serum. Serum. She also did accessories this year. Yeah, they had really good white headband, yeah. which was nice and, like, tough. And little... Um, toweling. Toweling bags and little toweling facial cleansers yeah. as well. And it's selling out every... The, what I like about it is that it's the sort of... It's the right price. You know, at the right for now, I don't even know she's how she's not did to that. be trusted. She's just not to be trusted. It's selling it everywhere, so you have to be really fast to get it. But you can, if, if Superdrug don't have it, you can get it. And look, see the way I put that back behind my ear now. As long as the front bit's missed, it looks it good. It looks good, doesn't yeah. it? Um, it's just the fringe that's a pain. Um, yes, yeah, so you can get it on Revolution Skincare, I think.co.uk. I'll find it. And boots, right it's on anyway. boots now. Is it all good? Mm, okay, yeah, uh, that's not you farting, that's just that chair, isn't it? And your jeans. That's the second time it's gone. Has it? <laughs> yeah, I don't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> she has come back with a bit of a bug from the Caribbean, so she she might well be defecating as we film. I, I don't was know. really sick. It was not nice. Okay, you're that, on. Um, okay, so well, oh, I've got Sam, Sam McKnight, Lazy Girl Cleansing Hair Cloth. Yeah, but the reason I like this because, as you know, I'm not a fan of washing my um, hair. I find it so tiresome, really? especially because I really don't enjoy what it looks like. So it makes me less inclined to want to shampoo it. A little bit Leo Sayer. I have been using. She had a haircut. And she said, I'm not sure, who did you think? You I thought, thought you looked I looked like? like Rod Stewart. And the, the, the hairdresser hairstylist said, a little bit more Howard Jones. Jones. I don't know who that She's is. She's so young, she doesn't know who Howard Jones I'm is. I'm not I that should, young. I should drop in a picture. But then I thought, and then he said, no, Howard Jones. And I was like, oh, right, who's that? I looked it up and I was like, thanks. Yeah, look, he looks like a toilet brush. Or oh, his hair looked like a toilet brush. He didn't look like a toilet brush. So, but the, the, these, I wouldn't use that if I were you because you've only just sprayed your roots out. No, I'm not going to wear it. I'm not going to wear okay. it. Um, use it now. But you just basically, you don't go gentle with them. They, they wash your hair, basically. They don't just mask. Um, it's like a dry shampoo, but on slightly damp cloth for your hair. But it actually does lift the oil out it, of your uh, hair. It, it cleans mask. your hair. Exactly. Uh, so it's got this year, on it. Joe got into Reformer Pilates. I did Reformer Pilates finally you're the reason that i did for four reform. months this year and then i moved house and i lost my pilates instructor and then i've got her into it and she now is just like me she's completely upset but you have to do it with me we'll do a class yeah. together i've got this amazing teacher and she's really desperate yeah, for us to do 100%. it together 
so that's your one there. I've got, uh, I think, without a doubt, probably the most successful serum launch of this year. Was, really? Yeah. L'Oreal Paris Vitamin C 12% and it's from their new dermatological range. So it's L'Oreal Revitalift Clinical and it's their clinical range and it's got 12% uh, vitamin C and it is L-ascorbic acid, the really active mm. version, salicylic acid in it as well. So it's actually aimed at pigmentation, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, post-inflammatory erythema. I just think if you're on a budget and you want a vitamin C, that's it's the one really to good. It's really good for melasma, that vitamin C. It is. If you're looking for a lightweight serum foundation, uh, have you watched either Ruth Crilly or Anna Newton, i.e. the Anna Edit Apply This? <gasps> I'm Trust me, this is going to be what the makeup this? of next year. Oh my so God, you're I want jealous, that. I know, yeah. This is Ilya, and it's just launched in the UK, and I will do a makeup tutorial with it. In fact, we should do a makeup yeah. tutorial together. It's essentially a serum with the most lightweight coverage. So look because, at that. Because, you know, the ordinary have stopped, haven't they stopped there? That's exactly. It's essentially almost identical to the Ordinary Serum Foundation and it comes in different shades. Oh, I like that. And it is absolutely It's quite covered. You get coverage from it. Oh, yeah. It's a demi-matte coverage, but it really blends out. And that's why I was saying you can't look at my hands at the moment because they do look a bit older than that. But look at that. Ilya, I'm sure I've heard of that brand before. What else do they have? No, I'm fragranced as well. I love and that. it's SPF 30. You need to, and it's got niacinamide in it need and squally. You'd need to put a lot of it on there to get the SPF though. But yeah. I think as a top up SPF, it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, just an extra layer on top. That's basically like the ultimate hybrid, then, isn't it? Yeah, because it's got niacinamide. That's what, I, that's what she specializes in squalene, hyaluronic acid, and the tint as well. Squalene in it, it was quite, it needed that to give it a little bit more slip, probably. Tell me more formulating chemist, Joe. <laughs> no, oh, oh, this I bought in Paris, so I don't even oh, know okay. if this is here. Go on. This is like a makeup artist called Violette. And I love, this colour is called, excuse me, as they say in France. <laughs> Inez. Okay. Oh, I love as that in name. De la Frossange. <laughs> I'll do it again. I bet it is. So then, oh, so that's a gorgeous colour. Isn't it? Yeah. Right, so blush there. And, and then, then on your lips as well. Chuck it on. And then it's got this brush at the end. I'm not very good at with blush because I find I don't know how to apply it. Oh, so it's as short as that, that brush? It's as short as that. Because at the moment very you're looking a bit stubby. old Sally. Yeah. But what it does is it just... Yeah, it's very nice. And it just... I can feel a TikTok coming on. It just makes blush... Aunt Sally blush. It ma the brush is so clever because it's so stubby and nice. Very nice. Yeah, really good colour on your lips as well. Really oh, no, sure. I've got t another colour, but I didn't I bet like it, was it as horribly much as this. Wasn't it? Well, I bought it with about twenty million other things, so probably. When she went for a date night in Paris to watch some very strange Fred band. again. Yeah, it's not a band. It's a producer. Oh, okay. it's called Fred again. Dan went out with him afterwards. I went to bed. You look like the idea of hell. Oh no, it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, two things launching next year. I did a video about retinals, including the Geek and Gorgeous one. Look at this. I've got a preview of this. This is Eyes, Lip, Face. They're launching a retinal, and I think it's coming in January or February, and I've been sent an advanced sample. What's the difference the... between a retinal and a retinal? You need to watch my videos. Oh, I can't watch all of them. <laughs> it's the next late. metabolic step. Uh, so it's okay. the metabolic step between retinol and retinoic acid. It's 1% Gran Active Retinol and 0.05% Retinol. And I love that that's clean. I hard. really wish really brands wouldn't make bright. everything so small. Or I really wish that as you got older, you didn't lose your eyesight. But I just, mm, I'm scared to I've get my an, eyes tested. I've though. got an amazing app on my phone that Ruth Crilly told me about called Glasses. And you download it, it's for free, and it just makes everything look really big. No, but then you just look like... One of those people, an elderly person. We are person. one of those people. No, I can't be an elderly person. We are two of that. those people. No. Oh, best um, treatment. Uh, we, we talked about this earlier, yeah. didn't we? I had Morpheus 8 this year, and I had a little bit of filler this year. Um, I quite like Morpheus 8, but it was really painful. But when I looked at you, you'd tried some couple of skin boosters this year, hadn't mm. you? Yeah, and the there, one around the eye. Various different things. The eye, light eyes around the eyes. Light eyes around the eyes, and which skin I liked. Boosters. Skin but boosters. we both looked at each other and we said one word. Best treatment of the year? Botox. Botox. Right, there you go. There's our roundup of our best beauty highlights of 2022. Next, we're going to do um, makeup. makeup.
We're going to do party makeup for woo -woo. the new year. Not that we're going anywhere. <laughs> I want you to make we're me staying look, in. I know. I want you to make me look like uh, Kate Moss in the Charlotte Tilbury ad. I'm going. <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Bye.